planning a trip to Canada, uh, you may want to consider a number of different things about your border crossing. Um, when crossing into Canada, the first thing you should consider is identification. Um, it's not mandatory to have a passport to enter Canada, um, but as a uh, U.S. citizen, Canadian citizen, or permanent resident of either country, there are a number of other documents that you can use. Um, enhanced driver's license, um, citizenship cards, passport cards, uh, Nexus cards, um, birth certificate along with a photo identity document will also uh, facilitate your entry into Canada. If traveling with children, uh, you may want to bring identity documents for those children. Um, if they're very young, a uh, copy of a birth certificate, a notarized copy will uh, suffice. Um, you may also uh, want to bring a letter from mom or dad if it happens to be grandpa or grandma that are traveling with the children. Um, or if there's, there are uh, custodial arrangements involved with uh, the children. If you travel with prescription drugs, uh, make sure that you do have a copy of the prescription with you and they are in the uh, original prescription bottles. Persons wanting to travel with pets to Canada, make sure that you're traveling with a rabies certificate for the dog or cat. Uh, for those pets that are over three months old, uh, if they're younger than three months, they don't require any type of documentation. Visitors to Canada may bring a variety of items. Uh, some of those items may have certain restrictions or controls on them. It's always best to contact us and uh, check on uh, any uh, changes to regulations that may have taken place since the previous year. Um, persons traveling to Canada may import uh, alcohol uh, for their, per their own personal consumption. Quantities are uh, 1.14 litres of hard liquor or 1.5 litres of wine or 24 12 ounce beers. Those uh, limits are duty and tax free. You may import more and there may be uh, duties applicable to uh, the extra alcohol that you do import. You may bring a carton of cigarettes, uh, 50 cigars, uh, or, and, and or 200 grams of uh, processed tobacco. You may bring along your recreational vehicles, uh, campers, boats, motors, uh, Canada Border Service Agency does expect that you will be returning all those items to the United States. They can't uh, stay between trips without our authorization. So if you did want to leave one of those items, uh, check with us at the border. You may import uh, night crawlers and bedding. Um, currently you can't import any uh, leeches, uh, nor can you import uh, live minnows. You may bring minnows in a salted or frozen format. Um, you can check with the Ministry of Natural Resources in Ontario and they will be able to tell you the most up-to-date regulations with regards to bait fish. When entering Canada, you may find yourself subject to a more detailed examination. Uh, please be patient, it's part of the process. We are in fact verifying the declaration that you made to the officer uh, when you first pulled up. Um, normally we will help uh, repack your vehicle depending uh, on our time constraints. Um, please make those items in your vehicle accessible for the officers in case they do want to examine them. Um, they may remove a number of items um, and, you know, go through different items in your vehicle. Um, like I said, it is a routine examination. Um, uh, please be patient. The main entryways to Northwestern Ontario Sunset Country are Pigeon River, uh, south of Thunder Bay at uh, the west end of Lake Superior, uh, Fort Francis border crossing, and the Rainy River port of entry, which is uh, close to the border of Manitoba. Those are the three main entry points to uh, Northwestern Ontario, and they probably handle combined about uh, 1.7, 1.8 million travelers a year through those three ports of entry.